What is up, nerds? Cloud here, and we're playing Dragalia Lost again. And this time, we're going to give some information about the Halloween event. I wanted to do this yesterday, but OBS just was absolutely not working with me. Um, I hope your pulls went well. If you guys can leave a like on the video and comment what your pulls were. I made a pull video. Uh, you guys can go check that out to see whom I got. Uh, spoiler alert, it went well. A lot of five-star worm prints. You know how that feels. So jumping right into it, um, uh, for this event, it's a lot more single player focused. Uh, once you get to the special, unlock the special fight, uh, it is a co-op fight that doesn't require all your units, only your main unit you use. However, it's much more single player oriented and I think that has to do with the gathering issue the community's kind of just having issues with, uh, the length it takes to, to get them back and how easy it is to run out of stamina and gather rings in a few minutes, uh, depending on what level you're at. Um, so jumping right into it, uh, up top, uh, to farm this event, it's very, it's very different, uh, but I think it's pretty unique. It has a different type of, there's three different ways, so you always feel like you're getting something or you're working towards another goal. So the biggest uh, tip that I can give here is absolutely focus on the Sweet Retreat. Uh, the Sweet Retreat is a absolute must for this event. Um, once you unlock it and start leveling it, it up, you gain access to doing uh, damage to anyone from the Trick or Treasure quest. So HP and Strength uh, gives for Light Attuned Adventurers, so you're getting a boost anyway. But the biggest effect during this event is you're doing, I'm doing 100% more damage than I normally would. So uh, your Light Units, uh, you definitely want to stay away from your Dark Units, but your Light Units are already attuned to doing extra damage, are just going to do that much more damage. So the the only way to level up your uh, Sweet Retreat event in your Hollow Dome is by getting Snacko Lanterns. Uh, Snacko Lanterns are um, used for upgrading the Sweet Retreat. Uh, there's no other use for them, uh, so they only they only provide leveling up for your Sweet Retreat in your Hollow Dome. Uh, amount drop is boosted by the Worm Prince, so the one that you get from the Trick or Treat rewards, uh, as well as uh, the Treasure Trade, as well as the uh, gotcha system. So there's different ones. There's the pumpkin sales, silk lends a hand, thunder pals. My best farm uh, for the boss battle stages: squash the pumpkin, uh, pumpkin, <laughs> and revenge of the pumpkin. So um, uh, squash the pumpkin and revenge of the pumpkin. So these are the ones that are going to give you the the highest degree of snack o lanterns. Um, so that's what you want to focus on for leveling up your halodome. Uh, leveling up your sweet retreat within the halodome. It's super important and absolutely required for this event since it's Again, it's much more single player oriented rather than uh, multiplayer. And those worm prints do stack, so equip them all on your four characters if you can, uh, as well as make sure your main unit when you're co-oping has that on them as well. Uh, so the next one that we got uh, to uh, farm for is the jack-o'-lanterns. Um, so uh, complete the story to unlock special quests, redeem treasures. So the jack-o'-lanterns themselves are the orange pumpkin chocolates. Um, used for trading on the treasure trade and unlike the emblems from the previous events it will be consumed upon completion um, a lot of this information I'm getting from Reddit I'm going to make sure to uh, source them at the bottom um, so shout outs to Reddit and the wiki community for uh, having this information at the ready um, so the jack-o'-lanterns will be used uh, again specifically in here so I have 61 available I can get one of the worm prints uh, that allows me to get more access to snack o lanterns and boost my trick or treat. So, super important that you guys get those. I already got the lance and the staff that are light attuned oriented, uh, and I already placed that on my characters that I'm using. So, definitely, if I had to put a number, uh, definitely want to get those uh, and then get the uh, Knight's Testament, the Twinkling Sand. Uh, if you can rally that high within these next nine, technically eight days. Uh, it's a pretty short event, it seems like. The pools will be there for a while, uh, but the event itself, uh, unless they co-do another one. Um, so I would definitely get the weapons from here, uh, and then as well as the um, worm print. Get those first. Uh, if anything, get the plunder pals first, because it's going to help you in the long run. So um, uh, no worm prints um, give a boosted rate to the jack chocolates. Uh, however, uh, efficiency grinding during um, the Halloween Horror. So the only place that you can get them is uh, the Halloween Horror. So this is the one that everyone's having trouble with. I've only gotten to the fifth wave, so there's five waves. If you complete the fourth wave and you're on the five, the fifth, the fifth wave, the fifth wave, and you time out or you die, you still get all of the items that you got previously. Um, so. 
don't be it's only 10 stamina um it's not one that you can co-op so you have to beat it yourself but if you get to the fifth one you at least get everything from uh the first four so um once you start leveling up your sweet retreat in the hollow dome that's when the halloween horus is going to become easier and easier so i uh, definitely want to get that up to uh as high as you can the max level for any facility that we have right now is 30. um so i'm already level 20 after one day of grinding um so yeah, I'm telling you, it's the most important thing to have. Um, so the trick-or-treats are the next part of the event. Uh, sorry for blocking off some of the game right here, or this side. Uh, this is the points you get at the end of the stage. It will continue to climb in numbers after a certain uh, predetermined accomplish points. So uh, once I move the text, I'll show you guys in depth. Uh, amount is boosted by the three worm prints. Uh, so again, you always want to make sure, again, those uh, Jacko chocolates don't have them. Um, but you definitely want to have any and all worm prints on all your characters because they do stack. Uh, again, this is best farmed in Halloween Horrors um, uh, because of the magnitude that you get, but you can unlock it from anything else. Uh, any of the other events, you will uh, also receive trick-or-treat rewards uh, at the end of it. So uh, I'm already past the uh, 30,000 points, uh, so I'm moving on to the 35,000 territory, but... Uh, after every event, uh, you will see a kind of like a raid point system where if you accomplish certain missions or quests within that one event mission, sounds so confusing when I'm saying it out loud. Um, but once you complete a certain criteria within that battle, um, you will unlock uh, trick or treats that will uh, give you access to items. So not only do we have a system where you take your jack o' lanterns and put in your suite retreat not only do we get uh, jack chocolates to get items from trade but you're also once you getting both those items once you complete the mission you're even getting more stuff uh so this is gonna be this is just gonna come with grinding what you'll buy out the jack chocolates i'm sure and level up your sweet retreat way before you accomplish all of these um so it's definitely worth investing in to keep going uh depending on where you want to stop obviously the higher you go the the more items you're gonna get um, so I definitely want to complete this entire one. I was unable to do the raid last time uh, or complete all the missions. So, um, I definitely want to get all the raid bonuses. Um, so going into the candy basket, which is the next item, uh, the rarest event currency, it's used for treasure trade as well. Uh, Halloween horrors again is the highest one that you can get it from. Um, so the candy basket itself, uh, if you want to get the twinkling sand, you need that. Um, I'm not seeing a boosted rate uh, on any worm prints, um, just like the chocolate lanterns. So uh, this is just one you're just gonna have to grind out for. Um, I've never gotten more than one in a mission. I don't know if it's possible to get more than one, um, but that's that's another one that you want to get. Uh, again, going in depth on it specifically, uh, I'm not really seeing, aside from the uh, twinkling sand and Knight's Testament, uh, what it's used for. Um, as well as the concentrated water leveling up your uh, worm prints. Um, so the event itself is grindy but solo. Uh, so even though you guys cannot um, co-op the Halloween Horrors, which is only a solo like we talked about, you are able to, on the extra boss battle, if, it would, if I could click things correctly without being super nervous on camera, for the Re Revenge of the Pumpkin, uh, you are it's also a solo battle but i'm telling you the more that you level up and don't do not be dismayed if you're not doing enough damage or you're dying once you guys start leveling up your sweet retreat um yeah, you guys are going to see the significant boost in your damage uh, i went from uh almost beating him with 20 seconds left to having over a minute and 30 seconds left on this revenge of the king fight um uh, make sure you check in your endeavors as well. Uh, I'm really glad that the endeavors stack. So even though you complete the boss once, it'll stack to your fifth one. Uh, so the biggest takeaway from this, guys, is make sure that you attach your worm prints because they do stack. Uh, make sure you're leveling up your sweet retreat as much as possible. It's going to make the event easier. Keep in mind the event's only going to be active for uh, nine days total. So we're sitting at the eighth day right now. Um... Uh, I apologize if the video is not so, it's very primitive. Uh, I'm trying to get into more of a consistent, you know, pushing out content for this game. Um, but I always fall behind, I feel like. Uh, but I really, really do hope that this helps someone out there. Uh, if it did help you, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys want to see in the future. 
you guys want to see how I fight the EX fights or, or what have you, banner reviews, anything like that. Well, anyway, guys, hopefully this helps. I'm going to keep saying I hope this helps. So anyway, nerds, I'm out of here. I will go. What does this button do at the bottom corner?